Hi there. I went to Half Price Books today to try to find some coloring books. And they every half price is different. Some have more than others. Um, the second one I went to, I found this. So, of course, I had to have that one. But this is the one I came away with this time. It's called the Coo Gardens Maria North Nature Coloring Book. Over 40 beautiful images plus color guides. Okay. I'm not sure who Marianne, Marianne is, but... That's the introduction. And these are some of her paintings. And they're flowers from all over the world, really. Chile, Singapore, Brazil, Japan. Or South Africa. I said Borneo, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Here's the first page. So on the left side is the painting that she did, the illustration. And on the right side is the line drawing that you can color yourself. I like that it's got detail, but it's not overly detailed like some of them can be. Some people really like that deep, detailed stuff. I don't like every picture in this book, but I liked enough of them to get it. Like this one right here. Beautiful flowers. Some of the illustrations have have animals in them, or birds. Pineapples. So you can color the what she did or color your own. But this is gives you some inspiration. Uh, here's an area where they didn't draw in that background over here, so you can kind of play around with that. Oh, there's a butterfly. Okay, now we have a little bit of still life. Kind of like that. I'd probably make those southwestern colors. Now this leaf, this looks very interesting and fun to do. So you see they're leaving out some areas so you can do, you know, whatever you want. There. Here's a beautiful tropical scene. I like that. This right here I thought was a whale for some reason, but it's a big rock. And this also leaves out um, some of the darker um, shading. There are many uh, coloring books that have that are grayscale and then a little bit less than grayscale so it's a good guide you can see where to put uh, you know and helps you to learn to see where to put some shadows and shading and stuff this one uh, leaves it to you so you can pick the uh, where the sun or the light's coming from. Oh, boy, I like that one a lot. Oh, wow. There's just a little bit of background there you could kind of play with. I've heard of of artists or colorists whiting out or coloring over some background pieces, especially those in the hidden picture books. Um, I think that's got to be the number one 
complaint about coloring books, besides the paper, I guess that's number one, is the hidden pictures. They have great illustrations, but the hidden pictures. There's another still life. Um, these aren't perforated, but you can break the spine there and take it out and frame it if you'd like, I think. Be pretty easy. There's a butterfly, two butterflies. Well, this leaves out this background area. I would probably do some clouds and blue sky rather than bark of a tree. What would you do? That's a beautiful scene. There's some hummingbirds. I'm trying to find, oh, there it is, another tropical bird. I think that's tropical. Really, you could change the bird entirely if you wanted to. Find out what bird that is from the beginning. It tells you um, at least the flowers so you can find out what bird that is. Maybe try to paint it differently. Oh, I like this one a lot. There's some basket weaving type texture in the back. Um, if you can comment below, good videos on textures. Oh boy, I can't wait to try that leaf. And there's one of those where they left the background to your imagination. I think I would want to do something that's contrasting to this um, butterfly. That's a moth, I think. Um, maybe different color. Well, different color moth for sure. Maybe different color flowers. And they have some kind of c contrasting. Contrasting. That's really pretty. Some kind of strange flowers there. Ooh. Is this a hibiscus? It's probably like, let's find out. Page 29 or 28. Oh, see, there's the one with a bird. It doesn't tell you what it is, but foliage and flowers of a forest tree, Java. You could probably find out what bird that might be. Okay, what are you doing, 28? Ah, oh, I got it right. A new Caledonian plant, Hibiscus cooperi. I was right. I do like that hibiscus, especially because I love gradations. And on all the hibiscus, hibiscuses, I find um, they all have this gradation in there. I love gradations. I'll show you something I did I'm working on. Playing around with um, um, dual tip markers. But, you know, I may not like it in the end, uh, the sky, but I was trying that out. And then I was also experimenting with some gradations of those flowers. I probably could do a little more on that, but I think I've lost a tooth. I really do like how this is laid out. It's not too complicated, but not too easy. And it leaves uh, enough uh, of the imagination to do different kinds of backgrounds. It's really pretty. Oh boy, I love those. I think those are morning glories. 
I'm not quite sure. Nope. Emma Tangula in Flower and Fruit, Plu in Palmia, South Africa. Carissa Macrocarpa. So, not morning glories, but very beautiful. There's a little butterfly here. I may try to probably will match, try to match some of the flowers at the beginning just to kind of get a feel for the paper. Uh, now, as far as the paper goes, it's not as thick as the color of the paper. That's really thick, heavy paper. But it's not as thin. Oh, that one's actually about the same thickness. I may not have a thin colored book. Oh, okay. Well, that one's thick too. <laughs> anyway, it's not super thin and it's not super thick. Just somewhere in the middle. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I love this beautiful moth here. There's a caterpillar and the chrysalis. That may be one of the first ones I do. How many of you, or who among you, um, colors the first page and goes to the second and the third and all the way to the end? And how many, or which ones of you uh, jump around? Now, I've got about three or four pictures going. I just pop back, back and forth between the books. I think that's a pitcher plant of some sort. Oh, here's one of the birds. Oh, wow, I almost couldn't see them. Some of these pictures in here, they've got, she doesn't have enough contrasting, contrasting um, color. I guess that's just a style, but me, I like to do contrast. That way you can pop out the flowers or the birds. I, I'd probably go lighter on the background, but you know, everybody's different. So, oh, I like this one a lot. That is awesome. Look at this. Here it is. I think that's got to be my most favorite of this book. That would be something I'd want to take a picture of if I was standing in front of that real place. Sure, we'll find out what place it is. Ooh, 43. Foliage, flowers, and fruit of the common tree of the seashore, Praslin. Cordia subcordata. Praslin. Anyone know where Praslin is? I'm going to have to find out about that one. Oh, here's a monkey. Monkey playing around with fruit. Probably going to eat it. Looks like it's eating some leaves or stems or something. This fruit almost, I don't know. I forgot the name of that fruit. Okay, and that's the end of it. That is the Kew Gardens Marianne North Nature Coloring Book. Royal Botanic Gardens. So you can see it's got that um, British Australian spelling. Oops, I'm sorry. Of color. Okay, thanks for watching.